YouTube, what's up, man? This is Weekend League Action, and it's getting a little special because I'm actually playing Ryan Hollins. Yeah, the NBA analyst, ex-NBA player. If you guys don't know, he's really hip in the mad and plays a lot of mutt. And uh, actually streams mutt as well, streams mad, so check him out on Twitch. I, I believe his Twitch is just Ryan Hollins. At first, I didn't know this was him. I stream live. As you see, I got the eye black on. We are ready for war in the weekend league streets. Um, definitely was drinking this game as well, so please don't judge some of the passes that I made. I didn't know it was him until probably about the second quarter. I really, because obviously his name is not his name. Uh, and my chat told me, if you guys want to be in the chat, twitch.tv slash dub dot. And a lot of times when you don't know who it is, you, you kind of just wing it the first couple plays. First drive, here he goes, sending everybody. I have B wide open, but just can't get away from Patrick Willis. I'm assuming he has some type of 49ers theme. Here he goes, user rushes with Shazier. Literally sending every single person in 3-4. Uh, it's a little unconventional because he moves these guys out so far. It's really tough to roll out of the pocket, and that's what I want to try to do right away versus any type of blitzing defense. Uh, he's in this strong wing. Um, really, uh, I, just a, a shitter offense, really. But, you know, it caught me a little bit early in the game. You know, there he goes. He's got this little dump off to Gronkowski, who I believe he has, like, matchup nightmare tanked so he can truck. He's not going to get hit stick by Taylor Mays. Uh, but I'm just going to keep sending pressure at him. And uh, eventually cover that. And then you see Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald has pass rush elite, run stopper, and secure tackler. That's what I have on Aaron Donald. That's, and you'll see uh, it makes it easy for him to get one-on-one -on -one matchups because I blitz every person. And uh, right here, he's going to show me this post route. His, this is his bread and butter play that he goes to. Uh, it has a corner route on Kittle, and it has a post route as we barely trip up Eric Dickerson there. And it has a post route outside receiver. Uh, both of them are kind of, uh, you can't really guard him. I'm going to continue to send this pressure because that pressure leaves Aaron Donald one-on-one, -on -one and he beats the center so fast he's in the backfield. But once again, that post route starting to kill me. But, you know, i got to figure out how to stop this play as we, we're we containing the run pretty good. I'm not going to sacrifice my run defense to stop this play. I know I can do it with the people I have. Try to put Erlacher there in a hook zone. Did not work through it over his head. As you know, linebackers aren't that great in coverage. And he scores a touchdown on that. So now after that first drive, I'm pretty much going to abandon trying to make the computer guard that route. He's not going to do that post route again. That's pretty much my goal. That's his bread and butter. But at the same time, I have to stop that corner route to Kittle. So we'll figure out what exactly to do uh, to stop this play. I, I don't think it's good. But once again, he's sending everybody at me. Once again, B is wide open for a touchdown. Just cannot get away from Patrick Willis. I believe if it, if it is 49ers Kem, he gets me again. If it is 49ers Kem, he's 96 speed, that Patrick Willis. Once again, he said that time he blitzed Palomalo to eight people coming at me. So now I got to sit up and like actually play. I just can't try to hit bombs, hit, hit big plays down the field. And you'll see the adjustment I make in the second half of this game or the rest of the way. Uh, but at first, all I want to do is hit bombs. That's what I want to do. And uh, yeah, blitzing as many people and moving them out is giving me a little bit of trouble from doing that. But... We'll have to play some John Madden football. Once again, just dumping this off underneath. Lawrence Taylor making a play. So we got to guard this underneath route to Gronk. Once again, he throws it. Just holds on. Aaron Donald actually tackled on the pass, too. Uh, third and 10. Here we go again. That same play. I'm going to cover the post route. There it is. Taylor Mays. Taylor Mays has Lurker. Uh, tackle Supreme and Enforcer. So now we're going to go ahead and he, he's on the D tackle right there. Quick snapped him. And we do a little drag route. But one thing about when somebody blitzes everybody, dude, everything is open. You can pretty much press a button. And this is what I'm going to go to the whole game. And looking back as I edited this video and I'm doing this game, but I, I literally could have put RB on a hitch every single play for eight yards. Uh, but sometimes you don't realize, like, people are never going to adjust to it. And you'll see throughout the game, like, he, he'll, he'll, he's never going to do anything about that. As I hit a little quick slam, I'm telling you, you can literally snap, throw, press a button pretty much. Uh, Vic has a great release. That's why I like him over Lamar. And that time we get away from Patrick Willis. I like him over Lamar. I like him over Mahomes because he can pass in the pocket really fast. Once again, hitch right here, RB. Terrell Owens, I should have put Calvin there because I actually believe I have curl specialists on Calvin. But literally, all play. Now, this time I'm running out of time in the half here as I use my timeout. So it's tough to keep throwing that as I go for a bigger play. Just nothing, man. If I try to let things develop downfield, Patrick Willis in his 96 speed is coming to get me. And once again, Terrell Owens, I'm in field goal range, running out of timeout, so I'm going to go to the spike here. We spiked the ball here, 20 seconds, and this is a time where it's like, bro, I don't really have a lot of time to do anything special. Once again, hitch again, Terrell Owens, he drops that one. It didn't really matter because I really need a clock stop more than I need those four yards. Uh, that time he gets around the edge, but I get out there. Can I get over top to Calvin? No. Drops the ball. So I settle for three there. 
Uh, but like I said, I switched it up. You know, I'm not going to try to roll out every single play. Like, if you're going to give me this eight-yard hitch, I have to take it, man. And that's the thing about these pressures, man. With people, especially this time of year, I know you guys are probably dealing with this 3-4. All these outside linebackers are so fast that it makes it a little bit tougher to move the ball. Early in the year, you know, when it was 85-speed linebackers, I mean, it was a little bit easier to pop. As uh, no time left in the half, he goes up top over here to Calvin. But I got night train lane. Comes down with the pick. And we're going to halftime. Like I said, I mean, the first two drives I was playing around, rushing things, and didn't get any points on the board. But I got to sit up, lock in, and just make some good plays on offense. That's all. And I, like I said, I had been drinking. So things are a little bit tougher uh, as you go on with the game here. But uh, like I said, his one pass play, we're going to have that pretty much strapped. What I'm going to do, actually, is, as you guys know, there's a corner route to the tight end. And what I'm going to do here is my outside corner, I'm actually going to put Sean Taylor at the outside corner. This is a single back, some five tight end shit, and we blow that up. But I'm going to put my outside corner, I'm going to put Sean Taylor there. I put Lattimore on Kittle, and I'm actually going to put Sean Taylor in my outside corner in a deep quarter zone. Right here, you'll see it. Boom. Bang. A cloud flat would have went too far to the outside, but a deep quarter runs right with that corner route and stops it. And I still have Lattimore manned up on him, and I can go guard that post route on the left side. So really just a nice adjustment I made there to able to get that pick with Sean Taylor. And right now, I feel like he's never going to score another point. Literally, that is how I feel. Like, this offense will never score another point on me as we blow up the run right there. Clowney, I don't care how outdated his card is. He is just a glitch, forever a glitch. Throws in a flat here to that Gronk. Boom, truck Sean Taylor. So now I got to start worrying about that little flat pass to Gronk. But the one thing about when you're sending seven people every time, when he puts somebody out in the flat right there, he's going to look to throw to the guy in the flat. So if Gronk is on the route, as I push Sean Taylor that time in a cloud zone, pick them off. I'm telling you, just make the right adjustments for the right thing. Right now, I feel like this game is good. This game is going great. That's how I feel. Nothing else is going to happen. Just take it nice and easy. Hitch again. Just literally, this play is wide open, the hitch. Here you go again. Oh, in that time, I assumed... He would go guard the hitch, but he literally has never guarded the hitch, and it drives me crazy. Uh, as There goes Aaron Donald again, getting crazy, going wild. Just keep sending that pressure. Aaron Donald's going to make some plays. Sean Taylor's make that tackle right there on Gronk, and we're good. Nothing to really worry about. Once again, he max protects. I got the post. There's Aaron Donald again killing it. Four sacks for Aaron Donald. Uh, like I said, you can't. I just have to keep uh, throwing this hitch. I have to keep throwing the hitch. He's not going to guard it. He's not going to guard it. He's not going to guard it. We see here again, like, I just got to keep keep peppering it. But right there, I see he manned up the outside corner on the hitch. Yeah, I saw that, you know. So the next play, you know what we're going to. Going up top, Tyreek Hill. Great throw by Michael Vick from the pocket, and we're going to take that to the Baja. I see what you're doing. Don't try to be cute, man. That's the one thing, man. Uh, one, even when you get sacked or when you're doing incompletion, try to look where the secondary is after you get sacked or after you're doing incompletion because it can give you tips to what type of coverage they think is working versus you and they're going to keep going to. Uh, that's how I'm exposed. Now I'm up 10 points, man. This game is cooked. I'm not losing to an NBA player, an NBA analyst. There's no chance. No matter how how good blitz eight people is and how good running stretch is, I, you should never, I should never lose to an NBA analyst ever. Once again, here we go. When he puts that running, when he puts that tight end out on the little baby route, he throws to him. That's pretty much how this offense is. Once again, Grant going out, throws to him again, and he just disintegrated my whole defense. Uh, Julius Peppers cannot catch Gronk. Gronk is just a beast. I have him at tight end. I don't have any abilities on him, but I have him at tight end just because he's a big body. Uh, I guess the card is old now, but I still use him at tight end. So here we go. Now we're back in the game because Gronk disintegrated my secondary, and. We just gotta keep keep making some plays here. And the uh, first play, we're gonna throw a pick. Like I told you, don't judge some of these decisions I made. Huge play right here by Gronk by making this tackle. Just trying to get greedy. I don't want to throw the hitch every play. It's not fun. It's not fun to throw the hitch every play. You know what I mean, YouTube. You know, and one of my problems is just impatience. Just being impatient. I want to go get a big play. I want to make him feel stupid. But right there, I looked stupid. As Aaron Donald sacks him again. Hold him to three. Huge tackle by Gronkowski. Aaron Donald has five sacks. What makes it easier, man, when more people you blitz, you get them D-tackles that one-on-one, -on -one, they will beat the center so fast that they will actually beat your blitzers to the quarterback. So here we go. We're in a tie game right here. Let's just go back to the bread and butter. He has not covered it all game. Hitch right there. Nowhere to go with. This time he's actually in coverage. Man, I want to throw the X. I want to throw the X. I want to throw the X. Oh, man, but... Just take right there, first down. We're going to use a little clock now because if I do get stopped, he can't go down and score and get a field goal. Throw it underneath the Gronk. 
fall forward just a little bit, get a nice eight yards. That's fine. We're going to use a little bit more clock. Underneath to Westbrook. That's one thing about what makes the Blitz 8 so good. It's tough to really get yards after the catch. Like at the first down on the blast. That's what I like about the blast. It's tough to get yards after the catch. And this is crazy that his Blitzer actually went for a pick and dropped the pick. Absolutely insane if it gets to that. Once again, that time I tried to throw to the right side curl when I should have just do the hitch again. This time, doesn't guard the hitch again. Actually picked me off uh, just running underneath Gronkowski. Uh, picking that off. But, like I said, that's why we use that clock before the half. So, he really doesn't have that much time left. He tries to go up top. Need an interception right there. One thing that's good about this game is that more often than not, when they throw a cover pass like that, you get an interception. Sean Taylor making a huge tackle right here on Gronk. He's running out of time. 12 seconds left, and, and we go get him right there. Deion Jones. We're going to call a timeout. Make sure he punts me the ball.